Hey guys, got some good news for uh, people that use um, Canon uh, cameras uh, that use the MXF file extension. Uh, now in Final Cut Pro 10, you can finally natively import it without having to use any workarounds. And we're going to take a quick look at that. Uh, so if to get this plugin, you need to go to the Canon's website. Um, probably any camera that uses MXF file extensions. Um, you can use, it's pretty much the same uh, plug-in, but just to be safe, say if I went to my own camera, which is the XF100, and uh, dri you got to go to Drivers and Support, and here you just select your operating system, mine's Mac OS X 10.7. Now you're going to look for the plug-in, it's going to be uh, Canon XF plug-in for Final Cut Pro 10 2.0. You're going to download that and install it. And if you need to, you can also, uh, they get like a uh, PDF that shows you how to use it, which is actually pretty self-explanatory. Like uh, you import any file into Final Cut Pro 10, it'll work. Um, you can either do it from the uh, file import for, from camera in the menu or I just click on the little camera icon on the left right here. Now I do, I don't have my camera connected, but I do have my uh, compact flash media that, that I have in a multi-card reader by USB 2 bus. As you can see, oops, it's all right there. Um, all the clips I have on the CF card, and we're actually going to import a uh, quick clip here. I'm going to choose this one. It's only a four second uh, file. Uh, you're going to select it and you're going to choose import selected. Uh, I'm going to choose the default settings. And we're going to close that out. And it should show it imported right here. Right here. Now, if it was a large file, it'd probably still be uh, background rendering. Um, probably, uh, I think it automatically, uh, in my case, it switches to ProRes, which I use for uh, video editing. And uh, there it is. Native importing uh, directly in Final Cut Pro 10. Uh, so thanks, Canon, for finally providing a, a plugin for that. So.